thought I'd put together a bit of a toolkit to show you the sort of things you might need for doing the jobs that are coming up in these videos. So wall plugs with a 7mm masonry bit, 8 or 9mm for slightly bigger holes. A standing knife, good sharp blade for cutting tape measure, 8 meter, spirit level, just to get things smart and straight. Duct tape for holding things together while you go and get a tool to fix it. And CA glue, great for quick fixes, 10 seconds and things are stuck together. WD-40 for relieving squeaks and freeing things up. Adjustable spanner and multi-tool, just so you don't have to keep looking for tools, you've got it handy with you when you're doing the job. Screwdrivers. I've got a flat head and a Phillips at the top and then an insulated screwdriver if you know how to do things with electrics. I was lucky enough to be given this uh, driver with multi bits and so I always have the multi bits available to me to take things apart if need be or put things together. And then a box of screws. I don't bother with a single box of screws anymore. I get these trays and so you have a screw for all sorts of things that you might want to put up and fix. Scrapers, different widths, different sizes. You need them to be able to fill holes of different sizes. And then this stuff, just water. Water in that bottle to help with this stuff. It is great for filling holes. It's called skim fill. It's ready mixed and cheap. It's about 10 quid for this big pot and it lasts for ages for any kind of cracks and fills that you need to do. And of course you've got to fill wood, so this is the stuff I use. And then for sanding down, it's got a handle on it, you can get these and you can replace the sandpaper, but it makes the surface that you sand flat, which is important. If you just do it by hand, it doesn't get flat. But then for awkward little bits, a spongy sanding block is brilliant. And you, if it wears out like this one, you can just cover it with a new bit of sandpaper and Bob's your uncle, you're ready to go. Baby wipes, just to get grease off things and get fingerprints, get things clean. Bicarbonate and soda for those stubborn stains and a bit of black mold sometimes. And glass cleaner works great on metal surfaces as well to get all of those squeaks and, and uh, greasy marks off. And then painter's tape, not masking tape. Painter's tape is brilliant, it's not very sticky and it comes off and doesn't take this off when you paint it. So that's a little bit of a run through of the things I use in these next videos. 